Let's talk about the bubble. <laughs> this is something that I have waited many a calendar to talk about. Well, not really. I didn't have a sports channel a couple months ago. But now that I do, and we've done pretty good work here, I feel like I can finally give my unfiltered, 100% objective thoughts that aren't stained by biases or stannery. We don't do that here. We try to speak as plainly as possible, which is what I'm about to do right now. And I urge you all to share your thoughts and opinions on everything that I'm about to say. Don't hold back. Constructive criticism and open discourse is not only encouraged, but it must be maintained at all times. Now, take a seat and relax. But take your shoes off before you do. I don't want you tracking anything on here, messing up my new floors, unless you have athlete's foot, in which case it'd probably be best for everybody if you kept those shoes on. Now, I'm going to discuss the most contentious topic relating to the NBA bubble, that being the Lakers championship, a.k.a. the bubble ring, a.k.a. Disney ring. Poor Davis celebrated too hard and injured himself. In regards to this championship, does it count? Yes, of course it does. But because the Lakers won it, a lot of people don't count it. If literally any other team in the NBA won this ring, people would not have complained about it for as long as they have and as much as they have. There would be detractors of this ring regardless of who won. There would be ops of certain teams. There are certain casuals who just don't like certain teams, certain organizations. That's with the territory of sports and basketball. But because LeBron is on this team and LeBron does and says a lot of LeBron and King me things, a somewhat sizable amount of people, not the majority, I think, but enough people that are pretty loud say this ring is immaterial and they ignore it or they're indifferent towards it and have made jokes and things about it and stuff of that nature. I've made jokes about it. There's videos I've made jokes about the NBA ring. But if I'm being completely serious, yeah, the ring counts, of course. It's a hell of a lot more real than them summer league rings. Like, my God, I, I don't, who wastes raw materials on this? I get it together, man. You're right, Hannibal, I'm sorry. Back on subject. These are the 2020 standings before the pandemic hit and the league got postponed. As you can see, the Lakers are number one in the standings. Number one with a total of 71 games played. Quick mess. Yes, I had to use a calculator for this because it's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm tired and I don't feel like thinking. Anyway, that's 11 total games missed. I've seen a lot of people say if the season had continued, Davis could have gotten injured. This could have happened. LeBron could have gotten it. In the current timeline that we now thrive in, Earth 616 or whatever, for comic book fans out there. That didn't happen. We cannot speak upon hyperbole. We can only speak upon what is. And the is here is that the Lakers were the top team in the bubble, and they most likely would have been the top team in the playoffs had the pandemic never happened and we could live our normal lives for the rest of the year. The Clippers could have beaten them. The Clippers probably would have beaten them, but we don't know because they choked at an all-time level and flamed out because they were only focused on beating the Lakers and they humiliated themselves against the Nuggets. So in conclusion, when it comes to the winning of said ring by the Lakers and LeBron, I believe most of the criticism towards that ring stems from the fact that it was LeBron that benefited from winning and he just so happened to be on the team that won it. If any other team won, I guarantee you people would not be flaming and talking so much trash about it as much as they do right now, all across digital space, all across social media and things like that. They wouldn't be talking about it with the same amount of energy that they do now but at the same time i get why they do that i get why some of you who watch this video may do that and not count the ring because lebron has made this ring insufferable he has multiple times claimed this ring along with his 2016 ring to be the hardest championships in nba history a statement that has been thoroughly debunked by the nba youtube goat himself jimmy high roller I've been a part of two of the hardest championships in league history. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't care what anyone says about that. In the last 37 seasons, 
Only two championship teams faced easier competition than the Lakers faced in this season's playoffs. Part of championships in league history, I've been a part of that. If you were not in a bubble, you don't quite understand it. This is literally out of your whole comfort zone. No so, family, no, no family. I didn't see my family for eight and a half weeks. Everything you're accustomed to, your own bed or, or your chef. Piss off! Literally in a bubble at times, like in my room, literally seeing the walls, like this, like the shining. <laughs> Just blood. Just blood. like blood <laughs> coming down my walls. Meanwhile. How's the adjustment been to dealing with life, constantly living with your your teammates and not really having an opportunity to get away and just overall your thoughts on life inside the bubble right now? Uh, it's all good, mate. Um, let's, get, let's be clear, mate. This, this is not Syria, mate. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not that hard. It's not that difficult, mate. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're living in a bloody resort. This man had the nerve to count his chef as being a contributor to his hardship in the bubble. Lord forbid you got to get up and make you some Hot Pockets or some pizza rolls. Oh my God, I don't do that anymore. Oh no. <laughs> the bag said they'd be ready in three minutes, but some of them are still cold. Oh, if only my chef were here. <laughs> I miss you. Now, in LeBron's defense, not every person is going to react the same way in dealing with adversity. Time away from your family will hurt and sometimes cripple some mentally, while others won't be affected by it that much. This reminds me of some people that are on reality shows like Survivor or Big Brother. How do you sign up for a contest that will be televised, knowing that the time in which the contest takes place will be over the period of a few months and you start to break down and cry, whine, and complain in the second week? I can't have my family. I miss them so much. What? Why are you here? What a waste of a spot. That's how most people will react to that, myself included. And it's made even worse when the people who are crying and complaining are millionaires, elites, people who are living in a lap of luxury. You had a bunch of spoiled brat NBA players over here. Oh God, the food isn't good enough. It's too much salt, not enough salt. Where's the pepper? Oh my God, there's no seasoning. Meanwhile, the average day-to-day -day person is struggling to keep the bills paid because of this pandemic. You can't go to work. You got laid off and you're seeing these millionaires. Oh, no, the food. Oh, where's my fork? I have to eat with a spoon now. Nobody likes this. You look lame. You look sorry. These brats had unlimited food in the bubble. There were people who were starving to death because of this stupid ass pandemic. And these people are complaining about, oh, the food, it's so plentiful, but it's not quite up to my liking. Where's my personal chef? Shut up. And not only was the Lakers 2020 championship one of the easiest rings ever won, it was also the least watched championship in NBA history. But what I just gave you was icing. You ready for the cake? This was the least watched championship in NBA history and we was all trapped in our house. <gasps> We was stuck at home for over a year and a half, damn near two years, and nobody watched this. Well, I won't say nobody watched it, but these finals didn't even reach double digits. People were at home and chose not to watch. They would rather knit sweaters, play bingo, and raise their kids than watch the NBA finals. And they're at home. That's pretty bad. It's pretty sad. I, I don't know how that happens. That that's 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 perplexing. That's quite perplexing. I'm flabbergasted. I'm befuddled. I'm stumped. And when it comes to the competitive aspect of the bubble, what's barely talked about is how a majority of players didn't even want to be there, but they showed up anyway because once they were told their salaries would get cut because the NBA said, well, we're not going to pay you for games you aren't playing. The league has been suspended. They're like, wait. 
And they suited right up and they showed up anyway, but their hearts weren't in it. There were so many randoms that were averaging 20 and 30 that I had never heard of in this bubble, but they're averaging 20 and 30 because these were hungry players who barely get playing time. So they're like, hey, I got to make a good impression. Meanwhile, the stars and stuff were looking pretty sus. Not every star, mind you, but there's a difference in when you're being paid for a job that you enjoy, it doesn't feel like work. Whereas if you're just showing up because of the paycheck and nothing more, you don't want to be there, you're going to look like Squidward. This is something that I'll hear a lot of people say in defense of the bubble. Everybody was on the same playing field. Nobody had an advantage one way or the other, away or home, no fans. All of these things, everybody's locked in. Not exactly because multiple players didn't show up simply because they couldn't or they just didn't feel as if it was worth potentially getting sick to just play basketball, while others were far more interested and concerned with the political climate at the time. While I do see the bubble as legitimate, the competitive fervor, the determination, the grit that normally accompanies many different NBA players wasn't there to the same extent as it was in previous seasons past which to me is not only excusable, but more than understandable given everything we were faced with at that current date and time. Actually, no scratch that, not we, because that would mean we were all on an equal playing field, which we weren't. If NBA players didn't report for duty, they simply wouldn't get paid, but they still have millions in the bank. They still have assets all around the country and other countries. They're financially well-to-do. They have generational wealth. So they would simply miss out on a couple millions for this year. If we didn't go to work, we would starve to death and potentially lose our house and die. Damn, that got dark. But it's true. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video now because this turned into like two or three different things. This may just be called everything wrong with the NBA bubble or why people don't like the NBA bubble. I don't know yet. But what I do know is that it was extremely impressive and amazing how the NBA was able to have a 0% infection rate in this bubble, given everything that was going on, the due diligence that was displayed in the NBA bubble with maintaining protocol, whereas with other leagues, you were seeing people get sick left and right, people missing games, people hospitalized. Remarkable, astoundingly impressive NBA. I may be very critical of different aspects of the league. There's things that I believe should be changed and should have been changed years ago. I still can give credit where credit is due, and this was just a phenomenal feat. They handled that tumultuous time period far better than any other American sports league, in my opinion. There are other things that I would like to talk about regarding the political nature of the bubble, some stances on the pandemic, things that I don't believe were done accordingly or didn't make sense. But if you guys want a video like that, I may just have to put that somewhere else because it can get to the point. Could It could get demonetized or something. I may put it up on a Patreon that I'm planning to make or I'm trying to make or I'll let you guys know. It's just I'm dragging my feet on it. I don't know why I'm taking so long, but I want to thank you so much. If you've made it this far, do tell me what you all think about the bubble, plain and simple. Tell me what you think about my opinions and what I've said on it. Love to hear what everyone has to say. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Thank you so very much. And I will see you on whatever the next one happens to be sometime. I don't know what it is yet. Two two series. <laughs> 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 <laughs>